guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite Whole30 approved products. A lot of you guys know that I've been on the Whole30 and I am almost done. They don't call it the Whole30 challenge for nothing. It is hard, you guys. I'm not gonna lie to you, it is a real challenge, but there are lots of products out there and so many people have completed it that there are so many products out there to help you guys. So today I'm going to share my favorite products with you and I hope that it helps you guys if you choose to take on the challenge. I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna start with what products I use throughout the day. So earliest on in the morning all the way to the end of the day. So here we go. The first product is gonna be this one here. It is the Nut Pods brand of creamer. I purchased on Amazon the variety pack. So it comes with the hazelnut original and French vanilla. They are a coffee creamer. They're half almond milk, half coconut milk. So these were by far my favorite option to help cut the bitterness of my coffee. So I highly recommend these um, from Amazon. The next item that I'm gonna talk about are the RX bars. So this one here is the blueberry. Let's see if it'll focus, yeah. So these here have been a saving grace for me. I always have one in my purse, and the blueberry favorite flavor is one of my favorites. And I have this a lot in the morning if I don't have time to make breakfast. If I did have breakfast, but maybe it didn't fill me up as much as I thought it would, and this is a great mid-morning snack, I'll usually just eat half of it before lunch if I'm hungry after breakfast. So they have other flavors. Check and make sure that the flavors you're choosing are approved. The, the blueberry is definitely my favorite one. So RX bars for the win. Next item is going to be almond butter. This one here is from Trader Joe's. So you can see here and you can probably tell I've been using this a lot so I absolutely love I had this for breakfast this morning I love to pair this with fruit so I'll slice up an apple or cut up a banana and eat my fruit with this just dip it in there or if you want to make it look really gourmet I see pictures of people who you know lay out their banana and put the almond butter over it and put co toasted coconut on it so you can get really fancy. But it's definitely a easy way to make your fruit or your breakfast more filling. One of my favorite snacks that I have found are these um, beef jerky bites, essentially is what they are. They're made by Epic. And this one here is the chicken. You can also buy the bison or there's other meat ones. I'm not sure. Um, you know how those taste but as far as this one here um, the epic chicken I have absolutely loved these these are the little one ounce snack packs again I purchased these on Amazon like in a larger package that has a bunch of snack packs in it and these have been great to hold me over if I you know didn't have a super filling lunch or even if I didn't I just get hungry I love to have these as well I honestly will probably eat these even after the whole 30 because they're super super good so definitely purchase these that I've always loved but have even, I guess, upped my game on since starting Whole30 is LaCroix. I'm sure you guys get tired of hearing about LaCroix. It's like everywhere I feel like, but they really are amazing and help you on the Whole30. So two of my favorite flavors. This one here is the um, Coconut LaCroix. I'll pour this in a little wine glass, like a stemless one with, put a little lime in it and a lime wedge on the side of the glass and kind of fool myself into having a cocktail. So that's a super good one, love the coconut. My other favorite flavor is the pineapple strawberry. So these are the taller canned ones. A lot of, I guess, the mixed flavors, the kiwi, strawberry, or like a watermelon, something. A lot of these will come in these taller cans. It doesn't mean they're any different. You can still drink them. Um, but this one here is one of my favorites. Again, I'll pour it in a wine glass, put a little pineapple, frozen pineapple in it, a strawberry on the side, and it's really helped me get through some rough times, y'all. Because if you're like me and you want a margarita, or you want a glass of wine, this is the closest you're gonna get. So I actually took one of these to a Mexican food restaurant on Friday. I have no shame, you guys. I will put this in my purse and pull it out at the restaurant. And I, I will just turn to the waiter and say, 
Hi, I'm on Hall 30. Can I please get a cup of ice and pour it right in? I'm not kidding. On Hall 30, Lacroix will save your save your life. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is what I use to cook. So um, I bought this again at Trader Joe's. This is just an olive oil spray. So I spray this on, I swear, everything. Um, if I'm making roasting vegetables in the oven, this makes it easy because it is already in a spray can. I highly recommend this one. The other thing that I do use while I'm cooking is coconut oil. So this one here is just by Simple Truth Organic. And here is good if you are making cauliflower fried rice, which I have made. Something other than a canola oil to give you a little bit that gets hot, you know, and gives you a little bit more heat. This is a really good option. And some people just like this over olive oil. I definitely recommend the coconut oil. The other thing that I wanted to show you guys is Trader Joe's again. And Trader Joe's has been a really good resource. They have so many approved things that you can buy for the Whole30. And one of my other favorite things to buy there are just these packaged veggies. So these are just their sugar snap peas. But I just love that they have these veggies and they last a little bit longer because one thing you'll notice while you're on the Whole30 is you'll be going to the grocery store more often than you used to because you're buying so much fresh food. So one of my favorite products is coconut. So I, it's so funny. I used to not even really like coconut back in the day. I don't know how, um, but I love these. You can eat them raw. I'm about to eat one right now because I'm a little hungry. I'm about to eat. So they're not like super crunchy or anything right now, but what I like to do with these is toast them in the oven, just pour them out on a baking sheet, Toast them at like 420, 425 until they get golden brown. And then I'll pop these into a little trail mix that I make. A lot of people use this as well to like top fruit um, that they have so you can put it on top of fruit. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this. My last thing um, is going to be for dessert. <laughs> And like I said, you buy a lot of fresh foods, so anything you can buy that will last a little bit longer is always helpful on Whole30. So even buying just frozen fruit. So again, make sure anything that you're buying, check the ingredients on the back and make sure that the only ingredient is the item. So these are just frozen whole strawberries. These are again by the Simple Truth Organic. Y'all may have seen in my other YouTube video making fruit pops. Frozen fruits are great because they obviously don't go bad. It's my last product. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I know the Whole30 is hard, but you can do it. So put your mind to it. Prep, prepare, buy what you need to. You really will save a lot of money because you won't be eating out. Um, don't forget to check out my blog post as well um, here at my website so that you can read about the Whole30 some more. I do have a couple blog posts that a lot of people have found helpful, so I hope you can check that out. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can see more videos. Bye!